this is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. Thank you for joining us again on Service Management Leadership. We do appreciate your patronage and look around at our other videos, offer, offer feedback. We enjoy the discussion whether you agree with us or not. It's all good and we hope to learn from all of our viewers. Today's topic has to do with early life support, specifically within the release and deployment management uh, process. Some companies call this warranty support, but usually warranty is a, a term reserved for your project management uh, type of people. And, you know, yes, release and deployment incorporates a lot of project management, but I'm going pure ITIL on this just so I can stay on the straight and narrow as best I can. So early life support, according to ITIL, is it provides the uh, a definition or a a way that it helps is that it provides an opportunity to transition new or change service to service operations in a controlled manner. So early life support is right after you deploy. Let's say you deploy at noon today. You will have a defined amount of time that's early life support. What it means is your project personnel are still engaged. So you are still in your build mode, you're still working out all the kinks. So you transition something to operations. You're in the process of, you implement it, right? So you implement it and then you figure out, oh, we messed something up, we have this wrong, we need to do this. Even if there's small things, this is what your early life support's for. And it's especially important for your big initiatives, your big projects, your big releases the things where stuff can go wrong. That's where early life support is very important. But also in service design, your stakeholders establish an entry and an exit criteria for this release, right? And so there, there are performance targets. This will also give the business final sign off for these exit criteria and your business now accepts this into operations. We are good to go, thank you. Your project team can now roll off and do something else. We'll transition this to our, our maintenance people, our support, our operations, whatever you wanna call them. And so your early life support is the bridge. I think of it in very simple terms. terms. It's the bridge that gets you from implementation to operations. Sometimes that bridge is short, sometimes it's long. But there's always criteria, there's always metrics that tell you when you're done. And I want to very much stress that that criteria, those metrics are what will define how successful your early life support is. Those companies that don't have them, they're never done. And it just drives them bonkers. A year after going into production, they will get a call hey, we have this issue. Really? We couldn't have fixed this a year ago or 11 months ago when we were still in 11, uh, early life support? And so I want to stress to you that you have criteria on through your service design of when you exit project mode and enter your service operations. This is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. Thank you for joining us today on Service Management Leadership. Please like or share the video, subscribe to our channel. We'd like to hear from you in feedback, comments below, emails, whatever it is. We enjoy the conversation. Have a great, great day. Bye.